SCP-1888 is called Terraforming Temple. I can only imagine that there's some sort of shape-shifting or land-changing type mechanic to this, because terraforming usually means to kind of change the land, like I'm terraforming outside right now. It's crazy, but at any rate, guys, this one's by The Rubber. Make sure to subscribe to The Rubber. Subscribe to me if you like reaction videos, and let's get into this one. This is Agent Troy from Expedition oh boy, 1888, sweat. requesting immediate extraction. You've got to get us out of here now. Uh -oh. Calm down. Please report the status on, of your team. My team is dead, and uh -oh. I'm with an outsider. They're That's coming for us. You've got to get us out of here an ASAP. An outsider? Shh. Keep it Someone down. Inside? They can hear us. We cannot extract Ooh, you unless we know your current position. Where are you? All right, all right. We're in a shallow cave not far from where we set up our camp. Gave us a little breathing room from them. Them? Who's them? The creatures. No, more like the entire ecosystem just attacked oh. us without warning. Even the freaking plants. It was like they were waiting for us to get far ah, enough inside so we couldn't escape. And then they alive. sprung up on us. They weren't normal. Like there was a deer, but its snout was <laughs> somehow larger. And when its mouth opened, there were these things like like a freaking crocodile. Medicine, but I what about the natives? One, they, they aren't human anymore. They look human, at least from a distance. But when oh. you get close, you can see they've got huge the tusks devil. growing from their jaws. Bones come out of their backs and some on their arms that they use like blades. Like Everything here is working bro. together to kill us. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Uh -oh. I hear something. Somebody it's did. Bill. I'd know that voice anywhere. Bill. Even if it's screaming, he's alive. Hello, everybody. I'm Gosh. the Rubber. Today, we bring hey, the rubber. SCP Foundation Safe Class Object SCP-1888. SCP-1888, so also known as terraforming temple is an ancient limestone pyramid limestone. built in the style of ancient pre-columbian cultures of peru okay radiometric dating indicates that pyramid significantly predates the arrival of humans in the americas all right the structure outwardly so displays old. no anomalous properties an entrance is located at ground level on the north side which right. leads to an interior corridor lined on both sides by eight small rooms Further in, okay. the corridor slopes downwards, opening into a large chamber, which mm. has been termed the treasure room. Wow. When a sapient being observes the inside of the room, the one or and more instances of SCP-1888-1 will manifest. These entities the will take the form about? of anything the observer considers to be valuable, leading oh. to the natural inclination to obtain them. SCP-1888-1 is always something that the subject is familiar with or has previously conceived of, and can you imagine you walk into a treasure room and they got like some PlayStations and Xboxes if you're a gamer and stuff, or maybe a new lawnmower like I'm, I want right now so I can cut my grass in my yard, my new yard. Then, <laughs> hey, they got a lawnmower in this pyramid, y'all. Come on, it's a Kubota. Displays all the properties of said entity. If it God. remains inside the pyramid, it will disappear precisely six hours after its first appearance. Okay. This process has never been successfully recorded despite uh. numerous attempts. However, uh. if 1888-1 is retained outside of the pyramid, once six hours have passed, it will rapidly decay into a viscous black liquid designated as SCP-1888-2. Okay. Due to the ephemeral nature of this substance, analysis has proven impossible. The substance will disappear if prevented from reaching any topsoil, mm. rocks, or outdoor plants. If the liquid reaches the ground, it will leave a faint black stain before it dissipates. Okay, so it just dissipates. Prolonged exposure to land affected by 1888-2 leads to a profound alteration in mental state ah. and also physical mutations. Symptoms so of exposure initially include heightened aggressive everything. tendencies, degradation <laughs> of reasoning abilities, and indifference to pain and physical injury. God. The greater the 1888-2 exposure, the faster and more extreme the transformation. Recorded physical mutations include mundane flora developing ambulatory tendrils coated with poisonous thorns, <laughs> and herbivorous fauna manifesting claws and teeth characteristic of carnivores. Mm. Mutated organisms will generally not attack each other and have shown evidence <laughs> of cooperation in order to efficiently tentacles. eliminate intruders. Gotcha. The existence of 1888 was first brought to the attention of the Foundation so in the mid 90s through multiple reports of people and animals disappearing you. in the area. Stuff. However, a treasure hunter found the temple first. Okay. After going through the forest, Gary Jones finally arrived at the temple. What about the Bill? The treasure hunter had no map. He was what guided by Bill? only the temple's towering silhouette in the distance and the directions given by nearby tribal villagers, as well as their warning okay. Beware of its treasure. 
do not bring anything from the temple to the outside world, for they carry bad omens. Mm. Superstitions. Uh, Jones had been around the world. He had braved through the highest mountains yeah. and the deepest seas. He had explored ancient from ruins, the temple? but never had he heard of a place filled with treasures such as this. <laughs> so when he learned about a certain temple deep within the Peruvian the mountains, a temple filled with treasures that would fulfill heart? any man's Raiders. desire, the adventurous flame within him lit up and decided to be the first to set foot inside. I want to be to rich. surprise, the doors <laughs> opened easily enough when he pushed them. They opened only a black void. The sunlight reached Nothing. only a few steps in front of him. As he but stepped into the temple, appeared. the torches on the walls lit up in front of him. Yeah, man. More lit up <laughs> as he magic moved forward, in here, as if leading him deeper. <laughs> Soon enough, the torches led him to a large chamber lined with treasures, All gold, precious stones. But there was only one thing that caught his attention, a crystal skull resting atop a stone altar. This skull, such mystery. The world uh, shall know its existence. Such and that I, Gary Jones, professional <laughs> treasure hunter and part-time archaeologist, was the one to find it. He bagged the skull treasure. along with as much treasure as he could fit in his rucksack and made his way back to the tribal village. Mm. Agents investigating the area established contact with the native tribe. Accounts given by individuals vary in terms of what gave the temple its terrifying properties. Some said that there was a creature living inside the temple, while others thought that the temple was a gateway connecting Earth to the underworld. Uh, Despite the warning of the tribe, a small expedition team of three men went into the area to attempt to reach the temple. When they arrived at the village, they saw a man dressed in modern clothing engaging in a heated argument with the villagers. Uh oh. It's nothing. Look, it's just a few things. Told you not to bring anything. nothing out of there. there are tons more inside the temple, so relax, will ya? In trouble. Jeez, if you're so scared of it, just let me stay for another night and I'll be out of your hair soon with this cursed treasure. No, <laughs> cursed. you no. leave now. Bye. You bring doom to us. <laughs> I said, as the argument got physical, Bill, the team leader, stepped in. Bill! Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, <laughs> what's going on? Nothing. I just got back from my adventure and these gentlemen decided to escalate things. Who are you anyway? We've been sent here to investigate certain strange phenomena. Mm. I'm Bill, and these are my partners Troy and Clubface. Clubface? Ah, it's so nice to see a civilized face Ooh. in a place such as this. I'm Gary Jones, an adventurer. Then the tribal men started to uh -oh. protest once more. They are really getting on my nerves. Come with me. I built a camp not far from here. We can Man, talk more there. Not mess with them they left quickly, following Jones into a Put clearing a outside of the village where he had built a makeshift hut. There, he told the team everything he knew about the temple. Mm -hmm. hmm. The temple might be worth checking out. All right, team. We're camping so here the for the night, doing? and tomorrow we'll make for the temple. Jones will be our guide. It's gonna they change, They slept right? through the night. The next day, the men woke up to find that all of Jones's treasure uh -huh. had gone. Only faint black stains remained. Which they all disappeared. Infected the ground. How could this be? And what is this stain? I believe we can only find answers at the temple. Let's uh -huh. move. The team followed Jones going, to the temple and gained the access to the treasure chamber. Everything appeared exactly like it had when he first entered the chamber. Right. The crystal skull the skull's the still there too. I swear, there was only one when I was here. Mm -hmm. Did the tribesmen take it from me last night no. and put it back here? No. No way. I would That's have heard it happened. if they did. How was this possible? Among the piles of gold and precious gemstones, the team found a certain treasure particularly to their liking. What of course. The? A limited edition vinyl in this place? A record? Isn't that the one you kept telling me about? And look, I found a case full of cash. My God, these are all $100 notes. And I got a figure of uh, like modern my money? favorite TV show. What? Something's not right about this. Uh. Yeah, guys, take nothing. It's almost as if something here knows what we want the most. Yes. And is giving it to us. Which means why? it's evil. We should ask the people why from the village what they know about this skull, temple. Though. When they returned you know? to the village, the sun was already setting. The villagers were nowhere item. to be found. It's an artifact. Well, where is everyone? I don't like it. It's uh -huh. too quiet. Come to think of it, the on our way back, him. I don't think I heard a single sound or saw any animals. The stain Everyone got stay him. sharp. Draw your weapons and be ready for anything. Villages. They walked in formation, <laughs> with Troy and Clubface keeping watch behind Club them. Billy face. Jones advanced slowly. Movement on our six God. in the trees. Looks like a snake, but it has wings. All right, double time. We're getting the hell out of here. Ah! Ah, a villager burst Bill. out from a nearby hut and pinned down Bill. His arm plunged into Bill's stomach. Oh! And when the villager ripped it out, the men saw that the villager had a splintered hook of bone extended yeah, from the side of his forearm, Bill's dripping dead. with Bill's blood. 
Two large tusks protruded from the villager's lower jaw, and blood dripped out of his eyes. Oh my god! He slowly turned his attention towards them, another bone extended from his other arm. He oh just grown bones! St st stay back! As the transformed stay villager began back. to run, Bill opened fire. Don't forget about me. I'm down, but I'm not out yet. You guys, run! Oh. Run, Clubface, the run! The didn't wound the villager. They only seemed to agitate him further, and he raised wow. his hand and brought it down repeatedly on Bill. the Bill! Suddenly, Bill's the men realized they were surrounded. Some of the transformed villagers had bone blades oh. and tusks like the first, and others had large worm-like monstrosities growing out of their broken necks, writhing as if in pain. Run! Run! Just run! They ran into the woods, towards their camp. But the moment they set foot into the bush, a the thick plants tree are alive burst too. up from the ground, coiled around Clubface's leg, Club and dragged face. him backwards. No! He struggled with all Club his might, face. but he was no match for the root strength. Oh. It dragged him to the group of villagers. Clubface Club face screamed and fired his gun wildly at the crowd. <laughs> he couldn't tell if the back. bullets had completely missed them or they couldn't hurt them. Mm. Then his gun clicked empty. Poor he Club begged face. for mercy. Mercy the villagers didn't have. They tore his body apart, and the worms that grew out of their neck began devouring on his flesh. Uh, no! Clubface! He's gone, man. No, Club we gotta run. Face. They ran, escaping deeper into the woods. <laughs> Every now and then, they glanced Maybe back and saw Club glimpses face, of bro. deformed animals giving chase. Deer with oh. ripped mouths and sharp teeth, human limbs Maybe grasping deer. from tree trunks, monkeys with extra arms hurling rocks at them, birds with four eyes spewing acid. God. They found shelter at a shallow cave and hid from their pursuers. That's when they called. As they caught their breath, they hell. could hear the sounds and growls from the monstrosities skulking around. He said he heard Bill them. later. What do we do now? I have a radio. I'm gonna call for help. <laughs> Bill. Yeah, but Bill was screen. already dead. There's no mistaking it. I'm gonna call him. Wait, hold on. It's getting closer. It's him, but oh, it sounds no. wrong, and it keeps Bill. repeating the same scream over and over. Troy He's carefully corrupted. leaned out and peeked from behind a rock. It wasn't Bill that met his eyes. Oh. It was a snake bearing a vague likeness of Bill and oh, a single broken God. wing on its back. Its mimicry of Bill's scream mixed with aggressive hisses that oh, became a shriek that attracted the hordes of deformed villagers and animals. Jones. We gotta... But Jones was already dead, with his head torn from his body oh, by the monkeys. Oh no, the monkey! Oh no, 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 no. When the Foundation God. didn't hear from the expedition after that, a small flight of Foundation helicopters were deployed to perform aerial napalm strikes on the affected area, incinerating 87% cool. of the native flora and fauna. Ground teams equipped with hazmat suits worn over ball. body armor, as well as assault rifles and flamethrowers, were then dispatched to destroy all remaining instances of infected flora and well, fauna. that's why it's safe now, I guess. Ain't nobody getting in there. God! <laughs> Can you imagine? Here you are wanting to explore a temple, and you see a shiny PlayStation 5 or 6 or the new iPhone 15 or whatever just sitting there in randomly in a pyramid amongst some money and all kind of other stuff and you take it and you go outside and you chill out for a little while and all of a sudden everybody the plants the animals the trees everything is out to get you it's all been corrupted even old club facing bill part of your team is now corrupted and trying to kill you oh my god this was hilarious y'all hope you enjoyed it make sure to subscribe to the rubber subscribe to me if you like reaction videos too thanks so much for watching as always this is the signing off we'll see you next time